Hello everybody and welcome to The Daily Splat. Today is video number 19 in our series of 20 previewing the English Premier League season and today we are talking West Ham. So yes, West Ham United, the subject for our penultimate video. Uh, the Hammers of course want, uh, promoted to the Premier League after a year's absence. Uh, Sam Allardyce getting them up via the playoffs, beating Blackpool uh, in the playoff final 2-1. So uh, just about getting through there, the Hammers, who were one of the favourites in the championships for promotion, uh, ended up finishing third, uh, but probably did deserve to go up. They were one of the better teams, even though they had a bit of a late-season dip. Uh, Allardyce has been busy in the transfer market. The Hammers obviously looking to try and stay in the Premier League. Uh, the players they've brought in so far, James Collins is back at the club after he uh, left them a few years ago to join Villa. They've also signed Alou Diara from Marseille. Not a bad signing at all to get the midfielder. They've also got Mohamed Diame from Wigan. Uh, they've brought in Stephen Henderson. Yossi Askelainen arrived on a free, so some good experienced uh, you know, goalkeeper in there. Uh, George McCartney has arrived from Sunderland for an undisclosed fee, and they've also added Modibo Maiga or Maiga and Raphael Spiegel. Uh, they've both joined the club as well. So a fair few players coming in for the Hammers to try and bulk up this squad, which already has a couple of players who know a thing or two about the Premiership, the likes of Carlton Cole and um, what's his name. Uh, about to say Scott Parker, it's not it's Kevin Nolan. <laughs> uh, so, you know, they have brought in um, some pretty solid players, a few players with a bit of Premier League experience. I think Jaska Linen could certainly be key, particularly as the Hammers did let Robert Green go. Green went on a free, he's now at QPR. Um, they've also let Frank Nobel, they've released him as well as Freddie Sears. Ravel Morrison, who they got from Manchester United at the start of the year, uh, has now gone for a year-long loan to Birmingham City. Uh, they also uh, have lost the services of Sam Baldock and Pablo Barrera. So all in all, I think they've more than replaced the players that they have lost. And I think the way West Ham look, I think they're going to stay up. I, I, I think, and I think just, I've got them in 17th in the table. They are one of the main candidates for relegation, uh, you'd have to say, along with the other two promoted sides and the likes of Norwich, Swansea, QPR, maybe Aston Villa, maybe Wigan, uh, you know, those sorts of teams. But I think the Hammers have got just enough in their squad to stay up. They certainly showed in their first game back in the Premier League, a 1-0 win over Aston Villa, that, uh, you know, they're able to hold out <laughs> a team that's um, going to be one of the main contenders for them for, you know, uh, in the relegation battle, you'd have to imagine. Uh, they showed that they were able to scrap out and get a good 1-0 win, but, you know, it was only the first game of the season and it was a very euphoric atmosphere because, you know, they're back and all the fans are their first game of the season, first home game of the season. And West Ham can make a fair bit of noise, so we'll have to see how they go. But I think they've got just, just enough to stay up. And um, one of the main reasons I think they'll stay up is Sam Allardyce. He's very, very good at, you know, making um, sides that are not the best. Um, he's better at getting that extra bit of effort out of them. What he did with Bolton in his time there was absolutely outstanding and of course they're now back in the championship and were never as good as they, really as they were um, under him since he left with the possible exception of the first few months of Owen Coyle's reign. Um, but yes, so Sam Allardyce I think is going to be key. He also did very good stuff with Blackburn as well and had them uh, at 10th when he was sacked by the Venkies and of course they too have gone down now. So the Hammers I think it would be wise of uh, of Golden Sullivan, the owners, to keep Sam Allardyce in charge, even if the football might not be the prettiest to watch. This is, you know, this is a team which I think will prove hard to beat, and I think they'll get a lot of their points from you know, just defending well and you know really being quite physical with other teams. Um, and I wouldn't be surprised if they got an upset win or two over the big sides, particularly if. When the likes of United, Arsenal, Chelsea, uh, etc. go and visit uh, Upton Park, I think, um, you know, I wouldn't be too surprised if we saw the odd upset win uh, or possibly draw uh, in favour of the Hammers there. Um, OK, that's it for today. T and tomorrow, I'm pretty sure we'll do the last one tomorrow, it's our last video where we'll be previewing the season for Wigan Athletic. Um, and we'll also have a quick look at uh, a couple of the other transfers that have come through because there's been a few more confirmed over the last few days. And indeed, you know, we're heading into the final few days before the transfer window shuts, so uh, very exciting. Uh, OK, that's all for today. Tune in tomorrow. Until then, bye-bye.